Quantum Fury! Hey! Isn't that Nahida? Nahida! Paimon didn't think we'd run into you here! Oh, hey there! It's been a while, hasn't it? What have you two been up to? <laughs> Seems like you've been enjoying yourselves. How about you? What are you up to now? I'm just looking out for some leads while getting some fresh air. I noticed that I have some blurry memories after saving Ermin's soul. I almost feel like there's still something extremely important I need to do. But I can't remember what it is. Hmm? Why is that? Don't worry, we'll help you remember! Thank you so much. Since you're willing to help, I have something I'd like to show you. Oh, it's beautiful! It looks like it's filled with some kind of power. Mm-hmm. I found it in the Sanctuary of Suristana, but... I have no recollection of it whatsoever. It's filled with pure elemental power that is quite similar to mine, but yet, it's also a little different. It's very likely that it's connected to my foggy memory, but I can't figure out what it is. Traveler, do you have any ideas? Hmm... You know, Nahida, we just happen to be going on an adventure right now. If we find anything, we'll be sure to let you know right away! Thanks, you two. I didn't mean to trouble you again. Don't mention it! Besides, it seems you've got a lot on your mind and we'd like to help! Hey, get out! You shouldn't be around here! I'm sorry, Lesser Lord Kusanali. Fungi don't usually come near this place. Last warning! Get out before I kick you out, you hear? Hang on. I think it's trying to tell us something. But Great Dendro Archon, it's a monster! Please, don't worry. <coughs> hmm, I think I understand. Seems that it wants us to follow it. You can understand it? Mm-hmm. Even though different creatures have varying habits and ways of communicating, the emotions we experience are all the same. I can feel its anxiety and fear. It's in dire need of our help. Well, fungi are kinda cute, but... Hmm, that's true. Okay, let's go take a look! Alright, lead the way, little fungus. Although they all look about the same, some fungi are friendly, while others are super aggressive and attack anyone they see! It can't be helped. Perhaps in their eyes, humans are like fierce monsters as well. After all, they can't distinguish which human behaviors are hostile or not, and it'd already be too late for them once humans have drawn their weapons. Hence why they tend to strike first, rather than waiting. That's not too different from how humans think sometimes. That's what I meant by shared emotions. It appears it was in a hurry because of this unconscious fungus. Hmm. Seems like they might be family. So maybe this fungus wanted to bring Nahida here to help its family member. Probably. Although fungi are simple creatures, they're very sensitive to elemental power. Maybe it noticed me on my way back and thought I'd be able to help. I'll take a look. I should be able to help if it's just a common illness. Hmm? What is it, Nahida? Strange. Very strange. This fungus didn't develop from a spore. It's an elemental life form. Huh? An elemental life form? Yes. Although the fungi you normally see are capable of using elemental powers, they're merely borrowing elemental power from nature around them. 
As for this fungus, it has elemental power flowing through it. Definitely not anything like your typical fungus. Exactly. This is very interesting. I've never seen anything like it. So this is a first even for Nahida. But that's not all. There's a large void within its elemental power. The void is stopping the elemental power from flowing normally, which must be why it fainted. So do you think it'll wake up if we can fill the void? Yes, and I just so happen to be good at this sort of thing. I'll see what I can do right away. Looks like everything is fine now. Lord of Tendro? Is it really the Lord of Tendro? Oh, I can't believe the Lord of Tendro saved me. Thank you, as well as the stranger and creature next to you. Ah! It can talk? Oh, I didn't expect such a strange creature to make a sound like that. Seems I'm just as shocked as you are. What? Of course Paimon can talk. And isn't a strange creature! Paimon's just... Paimon! Hello, Paimon. I am not yet able to evaluate an organism's intelligence from its appearance. I will only know you are able to speak once you have spoken. Oh, uh, well, no need to take it seriously. It's no big deal. But does Paimon really look so dumb that people might think Paimon doesn't know how to talk? You must understand, Paimon. A mouth is used for eating, breathing, and other functions that are more important than speaking. So a creature may not speak, even if it has a mouth. I've never seen a creature like you before, so I dared not make the assumption that you could speak. Even if you do possess a number of human traits, it is still very common for creatures to have similar external forms but completely different interiors. Just like fungi and slimes. Did this fungus study at the academia? It seems even more talkative than Paimon. You're not a fungus, are you? That's correct. This might be surprising to you, and I'm sure that you must have questions. Let's find somewhere else to talk. It might startle my fellow family members if I speak too much using this strange voice. Me, 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 me. It says that it's very thankful for your help. I was confident that I knew of all the creatures in Tavat. Even if there are ones I've never seen with my own eyes, I thought I possessed all the relevant knowledge about them. However, even if I were to lay out the traits of all elemental life forms, you don't seem to match any of them. What are you? And where did you come from? I come from an ancient race. We have existed for a very long time, possibly longer than any records in existence. My home was filled with flowing water and great mountains. Lush grass covered the land, and my family and I lived in bliss and happiness. Until the apocalypse came and changed my home forever. A horrifying power consumed all there was. The seeds of catastrophe nested and grew inside of us, twisting and warping us, causing us to lose control. We were victims of the apocalypse. Yet in time, we also became the apocalypse itself. The apocalypse? I'm not sure what it means either. It sounds like some kind of old fable. It's a long and complicated story. It will take me some time to explain it clearly. Don't worry, we'll listen. Please continue. I was lucky and managed to survive. Afterward, I left with some of my family and came to Sumeru to search for a way to rescue my homeland. We came in contact with many species and learned from their cultures and knowledge hoping to understand the truth behind the apocalypse. 
We later found out that humans know the power of the apocalypse and refer to it as forbidden knowledge. Your home was destroyed by forbidden knowledge? Does that mean you're from the desert? It's said that they are looking for a way to save their homeland, but the catastrophe of the desert should have ended a long time ago. The Lord of Dendro is correct. We are not from the desert. I would very much like to tell you the location of my homeland, but unfortunately, I've forgotten. That may sound a little odd, as it is very important to both me and my family. Yes, how could you forget? I am a life form that was contaminated by the apocalypse. A part of my knowledge and memory was taken away as the contamination inside of me was purged. Ah, I get it now. So the void of elemental power was left behind from when the forbidden knowledge was purged. I'm sorry. I hadn't considered that kind of possibility. That's okay. Lord of Dendro, there is no need to apologize. Without your help, I would have lost more than just my knowledge and memory. And not only did you save me, but you've also already rid the world of the remaining forbidden knowledge, right? That's right. The forbidden knowledge is no more, and your homeland should be safe now. My home... should be safe now. We can go home. For the longest time, this moment has only seemed like a dream. I never knew it would become a reality so quick. I was unable to fulfill our calling. I never found a way to save my homeland, and I have even forgotten where it is. It's not your fault. You've already done everything you can. Every species paid a grave price in the fight against forbidden knowledge. This is not a responsibility you should carry on your own. You mentioned that there were other survivors besides yourself. Where are they? Maybe they'll remember. The apocalypse put us through immense pain. Many of my family members have already met their end. I'm not sure who else is still alive. Don't worry, I should be able to find them. Just leave it to me. I'll leave the rainforest to the Aranara. And as for the city, there are a few nice kids that should be willing to help. Oh yeah, they'll give us a hand. Give me a moment. I'll contact them right now. That should do it. It may take some time to find them, so let's wait for a bit. Thank you, Lord of Dendro. We all believe that you will keep your promises. The moment I saw you when I awoke, I had a feeling you were here because of the agreement. Hmm? Agreement? You might not remember, but this is a prophecy that we deeply believe in. That the Lord of Dendro will bring us home once the catastrophe comes to an end. Ah, oh, I see. I... I'm sorry. There are also some blurry segments in my memory as well. But I'm very concerned about your homeland. This is something I should help with. It's really no trouble to me at all. Would you all be willing to come with me somewhere as we wait? The more family members that can return home with me, the better. But didn't you say that you don't know where they are? Yes, but I know their end. I will explain it to you along the way. Too slow. The wind rises. Huh. There is something that I'm very concerned about. Yes. I didn't mention it just now. But do you remember when I told you that the power in the crystal is very similar to mine, yet also different? The elemental power inside the crystal is completely identical to that of the fungus. What? Exactly. The prophecy that it mentioned was probably an agreement that I made with an elemental life form that once represented its race. 
I had to deal with the forbidden knowledge to save their homeland. The process, however, took away some of my memories. That sequence of events would explain the persistent feeling that I had unfinished business. Makes sense. Too bad it's unable to tell us more. Yeah, I've been trying to think of a place that fits the description of its homeland, but I'm unable to come up with anything. Agreed. I really want to send them home, so they won't have to wander around anymore. The road here is a little rough. I'll lead the way. Don't worry! Paimon can handle any road! Solidify! Hey. Behold! Amazing! With such skills, you all would have definitely been able to find a way to survive the apocalypse. Uh, hey! Paimon has been meaning to ask. You all didn't originally look like this, did you? No, we didn't. The appearance of our kind will change according to the environment. After communicating with various living organisms in Sumeru, we discovered that fungi are the life form most adapted to live in these lands. Thus, we gradually took the form of fungi and became a part of their group. It's hard to believe that's even possible. The most important instinct any life form possesses is adapting to the environment. I don't think that should surprise you, Paimon. Your hand is shaped like that for a reason, so you are able to grip and use tools more easily. The reason why fungi absorb elemental power is to blend with the environment and fend off natural predators. We are Dendro life forms, one of the most ancient life forms in this land. That is why we are so adaptable. So you mean, if Paimon wanted to, Paimon could change into a different form as well? Not as freely, I'm afraid. You would require a long time to make that happen. Although this is common sense to us, it is still extremely difficult to explain. Hmm. Putting it as simply as possible, changing form requires energy. And energy comes with time. You cannot make a sprout grow into a giant tree instantly, nor can you force a tree to bear fruit overnight. I see. Humans have a term for this. It's called growth. Ah, you're so smart, Nahida! Paimon gets it now! Growth. I see. Yes, then this is what you would call growth. A most beautiful word. I shall enjoy it more as we walk. How much farther is it? We're about halfway there. You're doing great, Paimon. Do you need me to carry you on my back? Huh? Oh no! Paimon was just curious! Paimon isn't that tired. <laughs> he seems to enjoy taking care of others. You think so? Does the Lord of Dendro need to be carried? Uh, that would be awkward, wouldn't it? Why don't you fly up and sit on top of my head? We can figure out who will carry you later! We are hostages here! Hmm, I think we may have a different understanding of carrying someone. No matter whether it's tired or not, my child is always happy when I put it on my back and give it a ride. Child? You mean the fungi we ran into earlier? Yes. One was my friend, and the other was my child. Why can't your kid speak? Because it's just a fungus. I don't want my presence to change or affect the original state of the fungi species here. However, it is slightly different from an ordinary fungus. It seems to understand some human language, so I gave it a name. Oh, then it must be a really cute name! You know, like Bongo Head! Hmm, 
You have an odd taste for names. Huh? Paimon thinks that name is great! Strange and cute at the same time. It's a name only Paimon would be able to come up with. <laughs> That's right! The name I came up with was not as creative as Paimon's. I learned it from an adventurer. It's... its name is... I'm sorry, but I've forgotten. Uh, seems like I've forgotten many important things. Yes, I must remember it before I return. It's just as important as my homeland. Yes, this way. We're almost there. Humans also call it that before. It's the last form we take when we are at the end of our life. I... Paimon doesn't understand. It's trying to say that when they've suffered enough and reached the end of their life, they become a tumor of the withering. Yes. I would have also suffered the same fate if it wasn't for the Lord of Dendro's help. So... This is how the withering is formed? Previous research has revealed that forbidden knowledge is the root cause of the withering. But even if forbidden knowledge has been completely removed, its influence still remains, which is why the withering remains even after forbidden knowledge has disappeared. They've been tormented by forbidden knowledge for a long time. It's understandable that they will eventually become the withering, but what a sad and pitiful end. When I left my homeland, Flowers like these filled the fields. Each bloom represented an individual life. They grew in the pristine lakes, in the fertile soil, in my home, and in the homes of my friends. They grew everywhere, until the world suddenly lost all its color and became tainted and murky. But it's all right. Our life essence, elemental power, still resides in this flower. After an adventurer clears the withering, I will quietly draw near the area. If I can sense the elemental power of my companions, then I take them with me. But that would mean the effects of forbidden knowledge could have... It's okay. That's not important anymore. I just hope that they can all make it back home. It's not right to leave them to simply perish in the open like this. Now that we finally have the chance to return home, each one I manage to bring back will make me that much happier. I understand. Just leave it to us. So you're worried about me? <laughs> it's fine. Forbidden knowledge doesn't exist anymore. It's natural to want to be overcautious when dealing with a highly venomous snake. But when all that's left is its skeleton, there's nothing to worry about. Uh... Paimon doesn't get what you two are talking about, but we're all ready to go now, right? Now let's do this! We've dealt with the Withering countless times already! Gather! Illusion shattered! The wind rises! Squall and Fury. Rises. Everyone hold hands. Shine down. Behold.
As I expected, it's the last of my kind that I'm... So it wasn't able to make it to the end. If only it could have held on just a little longer. I hope that you will be free of this pain after returning home. Just thinking about how many elemental life forms have turned into tumors of the withering makes Paimon sad. It's okay. As long as elemental power still exists, then we will still be around. An external form is but a gift of time. Through growth comes change, and even abandonment of previous forms. However, our true nature is not so easily affected. It wouldn't have come to this if we were able to cure them earlier. But I will cure all of them. Even if it's just for the sake of the rainforest and all the life forms that live in it. Thank you, Lord of Dendro. It was a wise choice for us to place our trust in you and wait. Hold on. I think I got something. Oh, I see. Okay, I understand. Thank you so much. So, they found a fungus that matches the description I gave them. It's currently unconscious. It must be in a similar situation as I was. We should hurry and go take a look. Okay, follow me. following me we're close now it's just a little further inside but there are so many fungi here they're probably all ordinary fungi right yeah they won't be happy to see us no fighting these are all its family although we belong to different species we've spent a long time living among the fungi they are very important to us they can be reasonable, as long as we try to communicate. What should we do? You're the only one who can make it through, right? But you'll need Nahida's power if you want to save that fungus. I've got an idea. Can you teach me how to change into a fungus? You want to transform into a fungus? But we don't have time for growth. Nahida is a god! Changing into a fungus should be a piece of cake for her! Even gods can't bend the laws of time so easily. Then we'll have to enter with the risk of being noticed. We may not be able to avoid a fight. But if spending some of my power will guarantee the safety of you and its family, then I'm willing to try. Alright. You have great elemental power, so you may be able to do it. You will have to use power equal to that which is required to break through the limitations of time. I will lend you the relevant knowledge that I have. It should make your transformation process a little easier. All right, I'm ready. Changing into a fungus should be quite an interesting experience. Lord of Dendro, this is nothing to joke about. I am extremely serious about this. Hmm? As am I. I'm not joking at all. All right, all right! Let's not get hung up here. If it's really possible to turn into a fungus, then why don't we give it a try now? Okay. Good luck, Lord of Dendro. Wow! You really turned into a fungus! It's actually not too bad. My perspective in this form isn't much different from usual. The unconscious fungus is just below here. Can you all help me determine which one it is? Oh, how do we do that? I'll get close to them while you make your way over from above. You should be able to identify them using elemental sight since they're elemental life forms. Then, all you have to do is repeat the correct answer in your mind. As long as I'm able to see you, then I'll be able to hear your answer. Okay, got it! Let me lure away the fungi up top and make way for you. Alright, good luck, Nahida! Let's go tr
There's a fungus on patrol in the center there. It looks pretty vigilant, so I'd better go around it. to change forms like that. I even used the techniques that it taught me. Seems like its warnings were not unfounded. The power of time accumulates slowly and goes unnoticed. A great price is to be paid if you wish to perform drastic changes instantly. Thank you for everything you've done. All seems to have gone according to plan. Now, we simply wait for it to wake up. Language is not easy. Need a long time. It's okay, I have good news. Let me explain it to you the fungi way. Apocalypse ended? Go home now? Yes. Unfortunately, I've forgotten where home is. I was hoping you still remembered. I... Remember. Really? That's great! Home, Dendro Dragon. Dendro Dragon. Ah, yes! The Dendro Dragon! I'm sorry, I just got so excited. I've probably never expressed such emotions before. But yes, our home is the Dendro Dragon. Oh, wait a minute. Paimon's confused. Do you mean the Dendro Dragon as in an elemental dragon? Like Dvalin? Yes, they're both dragons, but at Pep, the Dendro Dragon has been around for longer and has accumulated dense elemental power. But I don't quite understand. Why would you say that your homeland is a dragon? Because we live inside the Dendro Dragon. Uh, uh... The Dendro Dragon! Inside, very big. Mountains, water, trees, us. There is an entire world inside the Dendro Dragon's body. The Dendro Dragon nurtured the earliest life forms and protected us inside of itself. It once told us in a majestic voice that once we finally matured, we'd be able to start life in a new world. However, that day never came. Our homeland was the greatest place there ever was before the apocalypse arrived. Paimon's still confused. Yes, a very good example. It appears that you're much smarter than Paimon. The only difference is that the Dendro Dragon is much, much larger than any Dendro slime. Wait, then if that's the case... 
Doesn't that imply that a pet has also been contaminated by forbidden knowledge? Yes, that is correct. What has suddenly made you look so worried, Lord of Dendro? I haven't seen this expression on you before. A pep is the most adaptable life form in the world. The forbidden knowledge should have become a part of its body a long time ago. Which means that if all the forbidden knowledge has been eliminated... Then a big void will also form inside the dragon! I'm afraid so. Its body and soul have probably been in terrible shape for some time now. No wonder I haven't seen a pep for so long. But how did it get contaminated? Was it due to the destruction of King Deshret's civilization? Hmm. But anyway, a pep disappeared and has been gone ever since that time. It's been enduring unimaginable pain all the while. It's probably in pain as we speak. Yes! How could I have forgotten? If the Dendro Dragon fails to hang on, the elemental power inside it will no longer be able to maintain its form, and will all be dispersed. Dendro elemental power of that concentration will cause the rainforest to overgrow. Giant trees will completely block out the sun. Plants and humans will fight over oxygen. Sumira will no longer be suitable for sustaining life. Hey. What about the crystal? Why don't you show it to them and see if they know anything about it? <sighs> yes, I'm sorry. You're right. We don't have time to panic. Have you two ever seen anything like this before? No. Its power feels very familiar. Like something from our homeland, but I don't know what it is. I'm sorry our memories aren't very reliable. It's okay. I'll contact my helpers just as I did before and see if they can locate your other family members. I'm counting on you all. Your info is crucial to us now. Let's wait for their reply again. Though I know waiting can feel unbearable at a time like this. Thank you. Family bringing fruit. I explained to them that you aren't hostile. After seeing you save it, its family is very grateful to you. Go home, thief. Heart decision. Don't know. They are. Don't worry. I understand what you are trying to say. Family is very important to us. No matter when we were actually family. It has done a lot to protect this territory and can't help but worry now that it's about to leave. Can you do one last thing for it while we wait? Of course. I can relate to how it's feeling. I need to organize my thoughts as well. Thank you. Thank you. Tend soil. Food. Don't like plant invasion. There are two things that it wants you to do. One is to look after the land that the food is grown in. And the other is to drive away the plants that are trying to invade the area. Soil. There. First. Seed. Here. Paimon understood that. No need to translate. We'll take care of it right away.
It's time to pull the trigger. down now but it doesn't seem like there's too much we can do until we receive some new leads can you tell us about the dendro dragon we don't know anything about it who is it and what does it have to do with king deshret well the history of dragons starts from the very beginning of tevat samaria was a peps territory in those days the lush rainforest covered the entire nation Oh, so there was no desert back then? Not at first. That came when a giant spike fell from the sky, turning a huge section of the rainforest into sand. In an attempt to adapt to its new environment, a pep changed color from the emerald green of the forest to the yellow of the sand. No wonder those two elemental life forms are always talking about the importance of adapting. A pep has always seen itself as the master of Sumeru, and has refused to recognize the new order that was established. Even now, it probably still holds great hostility toward the gods. However, powerless against the power in the sky, and then the forbidden knowledge many millennia later, it's been unable to stir up any trouble. Conflicts between the two sides are destined to continue until a balance can be found. As far as I know, a pep had been slumbering in the desert, and King Deshret had taken a great interest in it. Maybe this is why a pep was contaminated. I'm not sure what may have led it to become involved, but rescuing it is definitely our top priority right now. The crystal that I have in my possession is probably the key that links the two matters together. What is the situation? There is no escape! As long as family members get along well, then nothing else matters. You place importance on appearances, but we do not. We find the experiences, knowledge, and connections we've made to be more important. These are all things that are more reliable than mere external appearances. These are the fruits of time, and the essence of what it means to grow. Oh, Paimon gets it now! Looks can always change, so what's inside of us is more important. It wouldn't matter. Paimon would still be able to recognize you right away. Oh? Hmm. Understood. Thank you. Still nothing new from the forest. Seems like we won't be able to find your other family members for now. 
<sighs> it appears we are out of leads to follow. And if no one knows how this crystal works, then a pet may be in danger. <gasps> Sorry. It's okay, it isn't your fault. I don't think it's a coincidence that neither of you can remember anything about the crystal. Maybe it's because the crystal has a very close connection to forbidden knowledge, which causes memories of it to be unclear. And if that's the case, finding the other fun guy still wouldn't help us at all. Hmm. The crystal and the apocalypse. The apocalypse and memories. Lord of Dendro, do you still remember the prophecy? Mm-hmm, I do. What about it? The prophecy is a story that connects events of the past and the future. A family member once said that the apocalypse is a part of us, and that there is value in preserving it. The rest of the family did not approve of its opinion at the time, so it left. Preserving the apocalypse? Do you mean that there's still some that hasn't been eliminated? That's not very likely. The power of Ermin's soul covers every inch of the land. Did the prophecy say where that family member went? To the limitless depths east of Sumeru. A murky place that no one can return from. Yeah, that must be the chasm, right? But what is it doing there? Hmm. It's impossible to preserve forbidden knowledge, but... What if it can be converted to a different form? I'm sorry if I'm suddenly not making any sense. However, I do think it's possible. Follow me. I'll explain it once we find that elemental life form. <laughs> 